Hey guys, welcome to Woodsman's Work. Today we're going to be processing HTP. What's HTP you say? Milk jugs. Let's get to it. The sign for HTP is the two in the recycling symbol. Don't use it if it isn't labeled. Now first and foremost, you want to take your box cutter. Be careful guys. It's a sharp blade. And you want to cut out around the lake. You want to cut the label off or out. You just want to be a bit careful. You don't want to cut yourself. Or stuff around you. Now it's okay. You can leave a bit of excess around the, the label. And you can just trim that off with a pair of scissors. And there we go. There you have it. The label's cut out. Now, I'm just going to clean it up with a pair of scissors. Close your Stanley blade first. Now with the scissors you can get really close and if, if a bit of label gets onto the plastic then you can just peel it off. Now this may leave a bit of waste but then again if there are labels in there they, they won't ensure as good of a bond as it would without labels. Nearly there. Now, if your milk cans are thin enough, you can just push through and you, you'll get the force, but mine aren't. So there we go. Label-free milk can. Now I'll show you how to process the whole thing. Now for this, you want to separate the top and the bottom. I'm just going to do that with, with a pair of scissors. Like so. Now, for the top, you want to make strips. So first, take your Stanley blade and just cut out the top handle. Ah. Now these are quite strong, so you want to be careful. But if you've got a sharp blade and a steady hand, you can get anything done. I'll get back to you. For the main body, what you want to do just cut it into strips. Now that we've got all of this hasty pea string, let's cut it up into Here we flips. have it, the handle. I'll show you how to process this now. All you really need to do, you have to be very careful again. Just cut off the top or cut it in half. Split it. Again, I'm being very careful. And then you just want to cut it. Now let's process the bottom. So here what I've done, it's quite simple. I've literally just taken a pair of scissors and cut small pieces from the strips. Now the small pieces will ensure less air bubbles. And air bubbles will be a massive enemy as they will create any imperfections or weaknesses in your final project. But that's okay because we've got little granules. So here we have it, our HTP. You ask me, Ayush, what are you going to do with the HTP? Well, I'm actually going to make a thick pipe for a tabletop lathe. I'll show you, I'll show you in another video. I built a pilot hole with a smaller bit, as you can see here. Hasn't really made much of a difference. It, it's only mushroomed it a bit. Now, let's do this. There we have it. Didn't really do much of a difference because it's actually quite thicker than uh, what I expected it to be. But uh, yeah, I guess. Now that we have the middle drilled out, I'm going to make, make this into a long strip. So let's do this. 
Again, you need your wire coders uh, either or for each method. So now that you've coded into these strips, like so, you want to make them into smaller strips. So just like the milk jugs, you want to make smaller pizzas or granules out of the bottle cap too. Again, more color dispersion and less air bubbles. Now that was the drill method. Now for the wire cutter method, I've got another lid. All you really want to do is cut it up into quarters. You know what, when you quarter the lids up, like so, you're good to go. You just throw it in the bucket. Now these two buckets are filled, are half filled, let's say. This one, not so much. These two buckets, both of HDP. This one has colors, and this is going to be used to make jewelry. And this one, as I said, is going to be used to make a pipe for my lathe. Now the jewelry will actually be turned on the lathe. It's a coincidence. Well, that was it for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to Woodsman's Work.